today we will solve another uh, lead code problem that is asked in uh, some of the top companies like facebook and google and it's problem number 91 and it's called decode ways and this problem says that we have a message and it contains letters from a to z and uh, these are all capital letters and uh, these are represented as numbers so for example if we want to send a i will put 1 here, similarly 2 for B and so on till 26 and uh, we have to find how many ways we can decode a given string which contains these numbers from 1 to 26. For example, if the input is 12, it can have two ways of decoding. One is that this 1 denotes A and this 2 denotes B. So one possibility is that this message is AB. But other possibility is that 12 is also a valid code for uh, L. So it can be also just one letter L. So there are two ways we can decode it. It's not like Huffman uh, encoding where there's a unique decoding. It's a simple uh, encoding and here there are multiple ways of decoding the same message. And this is a very simple example of that. Similarly, you can see this one. So first understand how we will approach the problem. So if we have an empty message, we can uh, say that there is zero, there is no decoding of this, or we can also have one decoding of that. Whatever you want to take as base case, that will depend on what lead code says. We will keep it aside and we will let's assume that it's one and now uh, let's say we have approached somewhere here at ith position in the encoded message so for encoding this uh, if we know how many ways we can uh, decode this part of the message before ith uh, letter then we can also find uh, in how many ways we can decode from 0 till ith position. So this is a simple uh, dynamic programming problem. So if you remember Fibonacci, so here uh, what this will depend, let's see. So let's say we know the answer till this part that uh, with so many digits i minus 1 digits, there are n of i minus 1 ways to decode the message. Now, how can we find till this point? We will just add one letter at a time and we will reach till end. So we are right now looking at this ith position. So there are two possibilities. Uh, this ith uh, letter can independently be represented, independently be decoded because we can have values from uh, 1 to 26 so here 1 denotes a 2 denotes b and so on till 9 denotes possibly i so if this digit will be anywhere from 1 to 9 then it has its own decoding from a to i so that is one possibility uh, the other possibility is that what was here. So if some uh, letter here was less than or equal to 2, if it's more than 2, then definitely we cannot add to it like 3 and this current digital, let's say 4. Then 34 is not valid. So this only possibility will be there. But if it's less than combined value of these two digits is less than or equal to 26, then we can also represent it as one code where 26 will mean Z. Similarly, if this two digit is 19, then we can have some letter from A to Z. So two cases arise. So if we know the value of N of I minus 2 and N of I minus 1, then we can calculate the value of N of I. Why? Because if this i, the ith letter, is any value between 1 and 9, then we will simply add 
this because uh, we will represent all the numbers from 0 to i minus 1 and this is independently valid. So this number of ways and additionally uh, we will check that the combined value of these two digits for example it may be more than 26 or less than equal to 26 is valid then we will represent this part number of ways we can represent till this part and then this two digit number so we can add this one but based on some condition so let's uh, start writing the code so first the base case if s dot length is less than 1 then we can return 1 or we can return 0 I don't know what is the test case for this in lead code and if if it's less than 1 that is its empty string simply return 0 if the first letter so if it's not an empty string then it will have some first letter so s0 is valid and if it's equal to 0 character 0 then we cannot have a representation because the values are from 1 to 26 and 0 can only occur as the second digit for example in 10 or 20 these are valid but if it occurs in the beginning this encoding is not valid so we will return 0 and now if it's just a one length uh, this string has just one character so we have already taken care of 0 so it can only be from 1 to 9 because a single digit can only take values from 0 to 9 and we have already taken care of 0 so it will be from 1 to 9 so if s dot length is equal to 1 then there is only one encoding possible for if it's 1 it's a if it's 2 it's b and so on till i if it's i then uh, if it's 9 then i there is no other possibility so now we have taken care of the base cases now we will come to this logic that for determining the value of ith uh, uh, character that is solution number of ways to uh, decode from 0 to i will depend on the previous two solutions so we always need to keep track of two values we will call this val1 and we will call this val2 so we just need two variables we don't need to store the entire uh, solution from 0 onwards we just need the previous two solutions so that we save some space so we will define two variables val1 and we will start iterating from character second character of the string because we have already taken care of first character and empty character so here val1 will denote uh, empty character uh, we can keep it 1 and val2 will also be 1 which is 1 character now we are ready to iterate through the entire string the encoded string so I will not start from 0 but 1 and i is less than s dot length plus plus i now first digit we will call it d1 that is the current digit which is s of i minus this value of 0 the ASCII, ASCII value of 0 so this will give the exact uh, integer value from 0 to 9 and let's d2 denotes uh, this part this combined value of the current digit and the previous digit in this case for example 34 26 so how we can calculate that we will write i minus 1 that is previous character to get the integral value subtract the sky value of 0 then multiply by 10 because it's the it's in tens place and plus the current digit which is d1 
now we need to check if d1 is valid that is it's more than 0 so if d1 is greater than equal to 1 for 0 this can only exist as second digit not as independent digit so if it's more than or equal to 1 then only we will add to current solution so let's keep one current solution also so val plus equal to a uh, val of 2 because we had said that we will denote this i minus 1 solution till i minus 1 as val 2 so we will add val 2 here and the other condition is that if d2 is also valid that is it's greater than or equal to 10 and d2 less than or equal to 26 then we will add v1 or val1 to current solution and now we need to update these val1 and val2 so we shift by one step right so if we move here then whatever was so this was val2 this was val1 but if we move here this goes away this becomes v1 and the solution that we just calculated becomes v2 so we will accordingly update here so val1 gets the value of val2 and val2 gets the value that we just calculated and finally we will return val2 because val2 is the latest calculation and let's run it we will try some test cases on ourselves and then we will go ahead and submit the solution so 1 2 is valid let's change our test case let's say we have 1 2 3 it's valid and we can add 1 0 so here there is only one possibility because 0 cannot independently exist 1 can exist but if we make 1 as independent then this 0 becomes invalid so only possibility is 1 0 which is j so it should return 1 so you can try on a few more test cases that comes to your mind and if you are satisfied with it you can go ahead and submit it so let's see if it passes all the test cases so yes uh, it gives a runtime of 0 millisecond which is faster than 100% of users and also in terms of memory it, it's better than 100% that is it's uh, probably the best in terms of time and memory